half a day. My name is Amanda, and today we're going to be having some fun in the kitchen while I teach you how to make modern Guam seal cookies. Before we begin, allow me to show you the essential tool we'll be using as part of our cookie making process. We'll be using a 4 inch cookie cutter and stamp all in one with the modern Guam seal design embedded. And the cutest thing about this cookie cutter is the little laddie stone used as a handle. Action. The recipe we will be using today for our demonstration is an almond shortbread recipe. The four key ingredients to this recipe include sugar, flour, unsalted butter, and almond extract. Other kitchen items that we'll be using today include a rolling pin, a spatula, measuring utensils, a mixing bowl, wax paper, a hand mixer, and last but not least, a tiny plate that you have available. Here we have our pre-measured ingredients, and here we have two cups of flour, uh, we have a half cup of sugar. We also have two sticks of butter. In our plate, we have a bed of sugar for our stamp. And we also have almond extract. So to begin, we're going to start by getting our mixing bowl. And we're going to just add two ingredients first. We're going to add our two sticks of butter as well as our half cup of sugar and we're going to use our hand mixer to mix all together but be careful not to over mix once this mixture is done we're going to add a half teaspoon of almond extract And we're also going to mix this in as well. Wow, with this almond extract in there, it smells so good. Now once this mixture is um, all mixed in together, we're going to take our two cups of flour and we're going to gradually add it into this mixture. So here we go. Now that we've completed the mixing process, you can tell that the consistency is pretty crummy and very loose, and that's exactly how we want it. Now we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for about one to two hours. Now that it's had time to chill in the refrigerator for about one to two hours, it's time to clear our table for the dough rolling process. To begin the process, I have some flour here that we're gonna use just to put on um, the counter, the table, so the flour won't stick. So now we're gonna take our dough, our dough that's been chilled and it's ready to be rolled. So we're gonna take about a handful of dough and to make this pro the rolling process easier, we're gonna use some wax paper. So here we have our dough, we're making it compact, put it on our flour table, and there we go. To make this uh, rolling process easier, we're going to roll to the left and to the right. Now that we've rolled the dough, we're going to begin our stamping process. Now with our bed full of sugar, the sugar is used so 
so that the dough won't stick to the stamp. And so here I have coated our stamp with sugar and we're going to begin stamping. After firmly pressing your stamp into your dough, I recommend to take all the excess dough away from the stamp first. So let's see this stamp. Wow, look at that nice guan seal. That's exactly what we want. Now we're going to take our spatula and we're going to carefully from the bottom to the top lift up our cookie and place it onto a, an ungreased pan like so what are you doing? for this demonstration we're going to show you how these three cookies bake so I've already preheated the oven and it's going to reach three, 320 degrees and when it reaches 320 degrees, we're going to put our cookies in the middle rack for it to bake to 18 to 20 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. Action. Now that our oven is preheated to 320 degrees, it's ready to be placed in the oven. Now that the cookies are done baking, I'm just going to take them out and let them cool on top of the stove for a couple of minutes. 